Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com and in today's electrical video I just want to show you a couple different ways of how to wire up a three-way switch for lighting, for three-way lighting. Uh, I've got two different scenarios here so uh, try not to get too confused. So we're going to deal with, from this black line, we're going to deal with that scenario first. Um, as always, be sure that in your area that you're allowed to do electrical work yourself as a homeowner. Uh, some areas will allow it with a permit, some will not. So just double check that you've uh, done that. Always do your electrical wiring with the power turned off. You don't want it on while you're messing with the wires. Okay, our, our first example, like I said, we're going to deal with the bottom here, is where we've got power coming to the two switches before it goes to any lights. Okay, so a common scenario, this is at, uh, in a hallway in your house. You would want the lights of the hallway switched at both ends of the hallway. So as you go to bed or whatever, you can turn it on heading down the hallway and turn it off before you exit the other end of the hallway. Okay, so in this, this scenario, uh, and in, in all scenarios, we're trying to leave a neutral wire at at least one of the switches and the reasoning for this is that uh, if you ever add some kind of device that needs a neutral to that location uh, you've got a neutral wire there uh, an example of that would be a timer or motion detector or something like that okay so uh, in in both these cases we've got a neutral at least at one switch location so in this first one we've got power coming in through a 14 2 and I'm just gonna put a disclaimer out right now. I'm not, in this uh, scenario, I'm not saying that how I've got the actual wire ran from box to box is correct. I don't have staples, anything like that. So you need to follow all those general rules. This video is more about how to hook up the switches to the lights so that everything functions properly and safely. Okay, so down here, we've got a 14.2 coming into our first light switch. Uh, so within that 14.2, we're gonna have a ground wire, a white, neutral wire and a black hot wire. Our uh, ground wire will get attached to one of the ground screws in the very back, very back of the box. Uh, on this one, sorry, on this one the ground is going over to this screw, it's wrapped around the screw, the screw is tightened, and uh, any other grounds coming into the box are hooked to that ground as well. If you're in the U.S., uh, most areas in the U.S. require that your switch is also grounded. So you would have a bare ground screw coming out and attached to the switch. I don't have that. I don't even have ground screws on these switches. So, Okay, so coming in there, your hot wire from your supply is going to what is called the common screw on this three-way switch. Okay, a three-way switch will have, not, and we're not talking about the ground screw it all but a three-way switch will have three screws on it two of them are going to be brass and one almost always is going to be black to identify that that's our common screw our common uh, connection okay so the supply hot is going to the common screw on the first switch heading off to the next switch we're going to have a piece of 14-3 cable so in that cable we're going to have our hot conductors which are red and black and our neutral which is white and as well there would be a bare ground wire as well. So obviously our white came down here to this first switch and was just meredded together with this one and it would be tucked back neatly in the box with the grounds. Okay the red and the black uh, wires coming from this or he actually heading to this next switch they're hooked to the brass screws on the three-way switch. Okay, so as the three-way three, three -way or three wire comes up into the last switch, it again is a three-way switch. You can see our black common screw here and our two brass screws. Um, the uh, red, sorry, we'll just deal with the neutral. The neutral comes up and is connected to the neutral that's coming or going to the lights and tucked back in the back with the grounds. Uh, the red and black that are coming from our first switch in the circuit to this second switch are hooked to our brass terminals again on the switch. Now going from this switch to whether we have 
light uh, series of lights or one light doesn't really matter but we're going to have a 14-2 going to our first light the black wire going to that first light is going to be hooked to the common terminal on this last switch okay and the white wire as it comes over here in the 14-2 is going to be uh, pigtailed together and then hooked to your light neutral screw or wire whatever your light has uh, the hot wire coming from this last switch again pigtailed all the blacks together and over to the light now if uh, if this was only one light on that whole circuit then that would be all there would be we would just have black to brass screws and white to, to silver screws in the light and a ground hooked up if there's a ground needed for your light in this case we've got more lights down the line so it's just simply put all the blacks together all the whites together pigtail them to the to the light and then they continue on through another piece of 14 2. okay so basic basic things to remember just follow your neutral all the way through right to the end uh, it doesn't get hooked to the switch and uh, the grounds as well they need to be hooked to all your metal boxes or all your junction boxes and uh, to any fixtures that require it including the switches if you're in the US okay so that scenario was looking at power coming in to both switches before it goes to any lights okay and I'll just plug this uh, setup in so you can see that that works before we move on so you can see no matter what uh, switch we turn on or off it will control any lights on that circuit okay so let's say now that uh, for, for whatever reason it's easier in your situations or situation to have uh, you know you, you the power comes into it, the first switch goes through all the lights and then uh, terminates at the final switch okay so that's another fairly common situation and that's what our upper section from this black line up is going to deal with um, again we've got a neutral wire at at least one of our switch box locations and that is so if we have to hook a device down the road or uh, somebody wants to change from a switch to something else they can actually have a neutral wire available here okay so that's just there to, to uh, for uh, future use at this point so here we've got power coming into our first switch with a 14 2 and uh, just like uh, our other setup we've got the uh, the hot wire the black wire from the power supply going to the common screw and this is a three-way switch from this switch going to the first light is going to be uh, a 14 3 so up at this end we've got a red and a black and they're both hooked to the so uh, to the uh, gold screws okay so that looks after that switch so in our uh, first light then we've got a couple lights in this series in our first light we've got the uh, black wire that's coming from the switch hooking up to uh, black wire that's in between the two lights okay so black to black right there the red wire from this three wires is going to a white wire here that we've identified as being a hot wire by wrapping some black tape on it because we don't need a neutral there okay so that's that one okay and you can see from this first switch I've got a piece of 14 3 going to it to the first light from every light after that I'd have two pieces of 14 2 going in order to keep all the circuits going okay so those two would hook to the first 14 2 heading off to any other lights the neutral wire is going to come in from our first switch it's getting meredded together with uh, this other white wire in the other 14 2 and goes to the light and the black wire from the second 14 2 goes to the light as well okay so basically our our electrical supply is going around and, and staying on this side over here and will flow back the other way depending on how the switches are hooked up okay so 
Then from our first light, like I said, we've got two 14 twos going to the next light in the series. And on this, staying on this side, here's our power coming in. And uh, we're sending that all the way up to the switch. Okay, so that's using this white wire in this 14.3, identified as black, up, and it is hooking on to a brass terminal on that last three-way switch. That's that one. Now this white wire that we identified as being hot coming from down here, that's going to our red wire. This is kind of a purpley colored wire here in this case, but it'd be a red wire from this 14.3, and it's going up to the switch and it's hooked to the other brass screw on that side. Okay. Now, back to this 14.2 that's coming from our original light. We've got black. All the blacks are hooked together here and to the light. And the white wire is going to the light as well. That black line in this 14.3 going up to the last switch is hooked to the common wire. Okay, so if you look back at our first switch, We've got our power supply coming in, the black wire hooked to common. On our very last switch, we've got the power supply that's coming back to this first light from that switch hooked to the common as well. And that's important, otherwise it's not gonna work. Uh, I know this all sounds really dry and confusing, but that's why I'm hoping that the display actually explains more than verbally what I can get across. Um, so again, if you just kind of look at everything as being, you know, this is this side, it's looked after all that, and that is that side. Now, if, if we didn't, if we only had one light in that circuit, you wouldn't need uh, all of this. Like you obviously wouldn't need this box and you wouldn't need these, these two here either. It would just go directly up, right up to that next switch. So just depending on the situation you have, just kind of, varies a little bit in this center area between the lights as far as what wires go where. Okay, again, I'll just plug that in so we can see that it works. So no matter what we, uh, what switch we hit here, we should be able to turn everything on and off. Okay, so again, you need two three-way switches, one at, one at each location to run either one of these scenarios. So hopefully that wasn't uh, too, too confusing. It sounded a little boring from my end even, so uh, hopefully everybody's still with us. Um, if you have a question on this, because it can get a little confusing, and, and this, actually this is why I wanted to do this video, because uh, this is not as straightforward as some people think. It's, it's a little difficult to wrap your mind around sometimes, because there's so many different wires going here and there. To me, this bottom example, what we did, is the easiest one to do. It's the least confusing of all. In some situations, you might have to use a little bit more wire to run it this way. You know, because if, if you envision your two switches maybe 20 feet apart, you've got to first come to your first switch and all the way down to the other switch and then backtrack to the lights. But in all honesty, this is the system I usually use because to me it's the least confusing and it it's the easiest to run even though it takes a little bit more wire uh, and and this one here I, I just find is the easiest to understand so so anyways if you have any questions on that as always come to the forum post your questions up there preferably not in the comments below because we don't check those all the time so if you need a reply you need to go to the forum and uh, from there uh, either myself or one of our uh, guys that we've got there and ladies that we have there helping out uh, are all knowledgeable and we can all put our two cents into whatever your issue might be and, and help you along. So whether it's this or any other problem, just go to the forum. Um, if you would like to assist us in making more of these types of videos and, and anything uh, that you've seen on our channel, if you want to see us make more of it, we would ask you right now to please go to our Patreon link right below here, right below in the description. And uh, through that link, uh, you can uh, help us out financially if you decide to do so. And if not, you can at least check it out and see what Patreon is all about. Okay, I appreciate it. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you on the next video.